Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about reusing a document library and a content type that I've created. In previous demos, I set up a content type and I connected that to my library here, which is called the Quotes Library. I've also modified the views and, and modified the template for this content type. So if I want to reuse this now, do the same thing again. Another department wants to use this. If you are doing it within one site collection, then it's rather easy. If you're doing it between site collections, it becomes a lot more complex. You need to actually start over in the content type hub. So that's the issue for another demonstration. But if you're within one site collection, it's rather easy. So I'm gonna show that in a quick demo here. So first of all, you need to go into the library settings and save this document library as a template. I'm just gonna call it quotes or contoso quotes is good. You notice that I use a plural here because the library contains multiple quotes. When I design the content type, I use singular because a uh, content type is a description of what is one quote. And the co quote contains a value singular. I'm not gonna include the content here. That can be useful when you want to move a document library between two site collections or something like that. But in this case, I'm just gonna uh, use it within a site collection, so and I'm not move, moving anything, so I'm not gonna include content here. That now gets saved into the list templates gallery, where I can download it if I want to as an STP file and distribute it between different uh, site collections. But now I'm just gonna use it within this, as I keep saying. So I'm gonna go into site contents, create another subsite here another site for another department that also wants to use um, SharePoint. So let's create a uh, sales subsite here. Use the same top link bar. So now once that's created, I'm gonna create a sales department quotes library based on the template that I just saved. There I have my sales site. Now I'm gonna create a new list, an app in this site. I'm going to search for or something with quote, right? So that's the one, Contoso quote. Call this library sales quote. Click on create. And there we go. If I go into this now, I create a new item. You see that I'm using the same word template here. And I got the right word template, but as you see, it does not open in Word. I want to change that. So let's go back into my document library and modify that setting. As you see, when I saved the template, I got the views, I got a lot of things, I got the connection to the content type, but the advanced setting of um, opening in the client application, that was not included in the template. So that's something that I need to change after using this template. So let's go back again, try again. Now it should open directly in Word. Let's try that, Contoso quote. Now it's opening directly in Word. I can fill something in here. It's undecided. It's the value is uh, going to be $6,000. And I'm just gonna close this now and save it as quote one. And there we go. If I refresh this now, you'll notice that the quote one has indeed got that metadata that I showed you. That shows you how to use a template to reuse the work you did on one library for another one within the same site collection. Thank you for watching this demonstration.